Yeah. Oh, trout. Nice trout. All right, everybody, welcome back to another episode of Backlash Angling. We're back down in New Zealand, and uh, we're just at a local lake that uh, we've hit up a few times. You guys saw a video of us smashing some monster perch, redfin perch, and getting on some good sea runs as well. So we're back on the same mission today, and we're uh, yeah, we're just looking to capitalize on some like primo conditions. Water's nice and high, so should be right up into the reeds, so the perch should be sitting there and. You said they're just about to spawn, right? Yeah. yeah, so they're gonna be nice and thick, thick and full of eggs. So we're actually gonna be looking at it in a different way. So back home, you got the smallmouth bass fishery and uh, tournament wise, you do like a big bag of your biggest five fish. So we're gonna see if we can get on some giant perch and compare it to like uh, what a bag back home would be for, hey, like a bass, a bass weigh-in. So we're gonna start casting. We're gonna first spot with some rocks and some, yeah, some of the reeds that are up nice and high, so. Yeah, we're gonna start casting some soft plastic and see if we can get on some get on some big perch. Let's get at it. All right, so before we get going, this is just the same staple. This is what I caught the big one on last time. Just nice silver bottom, bottom with a little olive on the top. It's a nice three inch swim bait. And then, ah, just looking for these over, overhanging branches. It's a little bit shallow here, so we'll see. But yeah, this looks good. There you go. Fish. Oh, he just took that little, let it sit there at the bottom for a second. He picked it up. And I'll drag up a bit. Yep, first perch. First perch. Right in, right in the mouth. There we go. There we go. Not a giant. Not a giant. That's the start though. Freaking right. Alright, so there's the first fish. Nice like one and a half pounder. You can see that they're stocking up though and they're getting that nice thick belly. Beautiful orange fins. Gorgeous. I was just popping along that little swim bait along the bottom. Stopped it for about half a second. So I might need to slow down uh, the presentation. But yeah, this is the one and a half pounder. So let's get her back here. Just gorgeous fish. There they go. Just working this rock ledge. Might be the ticket. Might be on to something here. What are you thinking? Sure. There we go. Oh. That hurt. I just lost some, fell big. Man, that thing scared the shit out of me. <laughs> And like I'm like even I've been like lately with my cast like I've been like pulling like to the side before I even lift it like like I came in and I was like this and then I lifted there we go we found him we found him how's it feel not too bad
staying down. Trout, I think. Is it trout? No, perch. That's not a bad one. Yeah, maybe a little more. We got a good bit, Tom. Yeah, took it. Two and a half down Oh. Just on a black swim bait. Look at that thing go. <laughs> it's still like stocky and tall, man. It's a beauty fish. Oh, you're out. <laughs> there he goes. Oh, right, man. man, that was like three hits in a row. Maybe we're on him. There you go. Seems like a better one. Same spot, eh? Pounder. Oh yeah. Yeah, that one's a nice one. Probably like three pounds. So we just got this nice perch. We black paddle tail. Just fished over the flats here. It's a nice fish. Let's get a weight on it and then we'll let it go. Three and a half. Beauty. All right, so that was our first like super good quality fish there. It was uh, three and a half pounds, and then we've buckled down two more. I caught one, one and three quarters, and what was yours? The other one was two pounds. Yeah. All right, so that puts us up to just two, two, five. Yeah, a little under eight pounds. We're not exactly at the quality we want, but if we keep cranking on these three and a half, and maybe get into a four pounder, then. We're actually looking at exactly where we want to be. So we're just waiting out to this depth line where it drops a little bit and that seems to be where we're getting more bites than the shallows. So hopefully we can start whacking a couple bigger ones. Trout. Nice trout. Yep. Oh, nice trout. Oh, he got it. Good. Oh, yeah. He scoffed it. Oh, oh, oh. oh save. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> save all the fight. Oh, he's pretty green, eh? Oh, he's super green. That's a nice fish, though. That's a really nice fish. Oh, beauty. Just on the black again. Yeah, black and gold. Oh, UV black, sorry. Gorgeous fish. Oh,
Yumbi. Oh, you got to sit down after that. Don't know, water. Is this all from the same spot? Yeah. Yeah? I wonder if you're, depending on what it is. It's running for you. I think it's perch. Huh? <laughs> right at me. Oh. oh, yeah, nice perch. Oh. Nice perch. In the net. In the net. Oh, for a Yeah, that's another good one. Wow. Yeah, that's another good Like three and a half. That might be even higher. Wow. A big. Three and three quarter. Three and three quarter? That's what I thought. I was like, I think it's a tanker. It's getting bigger. Yeah, we're getting there. It's getting bigger. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's like, would you say three and three quarter? Yeah, three and three quarter. We're getting bigger. Bigger. Yeah, definitely getting bigger. Slightly. And that's all in the same spot, so they might be schooling up there. So we're just heading to our, might be the last part of the day depending on how productive it is, but I just want to take a quick second here to just break down exactly how we're working these spots. So a lot of the spots that we're working right now are like big kind of muddy, sandy with some, I guess like some sparse rock. Yeah. Yeah, some sparse rock. And what we're doing is we're kind of just slowly moving through it until we find anything like if somebody hits, gets a hit, we immediately stop and we work that area a little bit more just because if there's a bite there, as, as I saying it's perch school up so if there's a bite there might be more so yeah we're kind of just like working through these spots working slowly down and slowly walking with our waders through the water until we either find a spot where we get a bite or something that we have touched base with in the past and we know that is productive so this last spot we're going to is where we actually got a couple big ones last time we were here so hopefully we can start cranking on them there and then if not we'll just uh we'll have to make a game plan and maybe hit a place that we've already been to today but we're looking to upgrade those those two smaller ones and then put one more in the bag try to get them in that mid-teen high teen range and kind of make a comparable uh comparable bag to the like a small mouth large mouth bag but yeah let's see if we can do it All right, so that's gonna wrap things up for the day. We uh, didn't end up capitalizing on a full bag, but we ended up getting 11 pounds with four fish. So if we upgraded a couple of those and uh, got just the fifth fish, we'd be sitting in around that like 17 to 19 mark, which is just, it's a pretty stellar bag back home. So in comparison, like, yeah, like redfin perch and smallmouth, like I would, I would put them side to side. I would say maybe a smallmouth has a little bit more uh, um, finished step, but other than that, yeah, redfin perch are pretty killer. We had a solid day, and then we learned a little bit at the end. And uh, I think the next time we head there, uh, fly rod, the fly rod might be broken out because there's a bunch of fish that are cruising within like half foot of water, and it'd be sweet to stalk them with like the drone and get a cool shot at them. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel and uh, check out some more of the videos on the channel. And yeah, stay tuned for the next episode. Cheers.